The Biggest Risk Factor for Stroke Did you know that every two seconds, someone in the world suffers a stroke? It's a life-threatening condition that can strike anyone, anywhere, at any time. But what if I told you that there's one risk factor that contributes to nearly 90% of all strokes? A risk factor that's not only common but also completely preventable. Today, I'm going to reveal the biggest risk factor for stroke and show you how to take control of your health to reduce your risk. So buckle up, because you won't want to miss this. What is stroke? Stroke, also known as a cerebrovascular accident, CVA, is a medical emergency that occurs when there is a disruption in blood flow to the brain. This can happen either due to a blockage in a blood vessel, ischemic stroke, or bleeding in the brain, hemorrhagic stroke. When the blood flow to the brain is interrupted, brain cells begin to die within minutes, leading to brain damage or even death. How is a stroke diagnosed? A stroke can be diagnosed through a combination of physical examinations, medical history, and imaging tests. Here are some of the ways in which a stroke can be diagnosed. 1. Physical Examination A doctor may perform a physical examination to check for signs of a stroke, such as muscle weakness or numbness, difficulty speaking or understanding speech, and loss of balance or coordination. 2. Medical History A doctor may ask questions about the patient's medical history, including any risk factors for stroke, such as high blood pressure, diabetes, or heart disease. 3. Imaging Tests Imaging tests, such as a CT, computed tomography, scan or MRI, magnetic resonance imaging, can help confirm the diagnosis of a stroke and determine the location and extent of the brain damage. These tests can also help distinguish between ischemic stroke, caused by a blood clot, and hemorrhagic stroke, caused by bleeding in the brain. 4. Blood Tests Blood tests may be performed to check for underlying conditions that may increase the risk of stroke, such as high cholesterol or diabetes. Prompt diagnosis and treatment are critical in the event of a stroke, as early interventions such as clot-busting drugs or surgery can help reduce the damage and improve outcomes. If you or someone you know is experiencing symptoms of a stroke, such as sudden weakness or numbness on one side of the body, trouble speaking or understanding speech, severe headache, dizziness, or loss of balance or coordination, seek emergency medical attention immediately. The Biggest Risk Factor for Stroke The biggest risk factor for stroke is high blood pressure, also known as hypertension. High blood pressure can damage the blood vessels in the brain, making them more prone to rupture or become blocked. This can lead to a hemorrhagic or ischemic stroke, respectively. In fact, approximately 90% of strokes are caused by high blood pressure. Other risk factors for stroke include smoking, diabetes, high cholesterol, obesity, family history of stroke, and age, the risk of stroke increases with age. Certain medical conditions, such as atrial fibrillation, carotid artery disease, and sickle cell disease, can also increase the risk of stroke. Reducing the risk of stroke it's important to manage high blood pressure and other stroke risk factors through lifestyle modifications such as regular exercise, a healthy diet, not smoking, and limiting alcohol consumption. In some cases, medications may also be necessary to control high blood pressure and reduce the risk of stroke. Regular blood pressure checks and working with a healthcare provider can help identify and manage stroke risk factors early on. Stroke is a life-threatening condition that can have devastating consequences. High blood pressure is the biggest risk factor for stroke, but it's also preventable. By managing high blood pressure and other stroke risk factors through lifestyle modifications and medical interventions, you can take control of your health and reduce your risk of stroke. Don't wait until it's too late. Act now to protect yourself and your loved ones. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, 
Please like, share, and subscribe for more health-related content. And don't forget to comment below with your thoughts on this topic.